Welcome back to World War II Jeep and Rifle. I just want to say thanks to all the subscribers out there who joined. And uh, in today's episode, I'm going to do a walk around of the Bantam T3C trailer. This is a 1947 post-war civilian trailer. And there are some big differences between the T3C and its military counterparts branded by Willis Overland as the MBT and by Bantam during the war as the T3. So I'll do a walk around and show you some of the, the major differences. The biggest difference with the civilian model trailer, and this one has been retrofitted and accessorized to look military, but the civilian model trailer has a tailgate. The military trailers were considered amphibious and the tub was uh, fully, fully sealed with the exception of a drain hole. The drain hole would have been in the near the left rear of the tub. This, as you can see, has a tailgate, as, as uh, shown here. The tailgate is hinged, <clears throat> and it can be dropped down or secured with the use of these uh, chains. The tailgate, uh, the tailgate also made some structural differences that had to be overcome through the use of these gussets. This is also a difference. You, these little side gussets, you can see they come out from the tub here. These side gussets uh, provided additional support that in the absence of a welded uh, back to the tub, as you install the, uh, the uh, drop down tailgate, the gussets were required to reestablish some mechanical strength in a lateral direction. That is also a big difference between the military and civilian models. The military models would have would have had just a <clears throat> a blackout light uh, on a bracket stuck out to the side with with no plate or gusset uh, to uh, to go through. So that's a that's a big difference. The other big difference is the brake. The civilian models do not have a brake. This would be a handbrake or parking brake. And in the military models, you will see a handle in the front that can be pulled up and all of the braking hardware, brake drums, cables, and everything else are absent in the civilian model versus the, uh, the military model. Uh, another difference in the civilian model is most of the T3Cs had a Fulton ball hitch type of a, of a coupler. This this trailer, uh, to make it <clears throat> more military looking, has been retrofitted with the lunette eye coupler, and this uh, mates to the pintle hook on the back of the of the Jeep or or military vehicle. The uh, <clears throat> The other thing, you know, starting to get a little bit more subtle here, but the civilian tubs, like this one, have three rope hooks or tie downs along each side. You can see right here, there's the rope, one, two, three. The military versions had four. Both military and civilian have one rope hook on the front and back, like this, but uh, this would be another subtle difference. So there's a, there's a quick walk through of the T3C trailer. Uh, this one's been decorated to, uh, to look military. And uh, for, for people who don't know the difference, it, uh, it might have come straight out of World War II. But uh, now you know and that this is a 1947 based on the serial number. And the small civilian data plate right here versus a larger data plate with four rivets uh, that would that would correspond to the requirements of the military data plates. This is the civilian version, and uh, nevertheless, it's a lot of fun. Uh, looks great, very functional. Uh, tailgate is is nice uh, nice to have in certain conditions. Uh, certainly can't cross streams, but that's not what I do with my military equipment. All right. Well, I hope you guys learned something. Had had a little fun. And we will see you later. Join us next time on World War II Jeep and Rifles. See you.